Welcome to another GL Communications product demonstration video. In this video, we will demonstrate Packet Expert, which is our hardware platform for advanced Ethernet and IP testing. We will demonstrate an RFC 2544 test using Packet Expert. Packet Expert will connect to a switch and send Ethernet frames from port 1 to port 2 of the same Packet Expert device. RFC 2544 is a testing procedure for measuring equipment and network performance. It defines testing methodology for throughput, latency, frame loss, and back-to-back -back frames, all as a function of frame size. Make sure the application is set to RFC 2544. So we need to configure the interface settings for port 1 and port 2. If you double click interface for either port 1 or port 2, you can see the hardware MAC address listed, as well as the IP address and other information. We next need to determine the transmit and receive configuration. The transmit configuration for port 1 and the receive configuration for port 2. We are just sending Ethernet frames, so we will set layer 3 to be none. Ensure that the source MAC address is the MAC address corresponding to port 1 and the destination MAC address is the MAC address corresponding to port 2. Next, go to the payload and set any hexadecimal payload pattern you wish. Now, let's configure the interface for port 2 and the transmit receive configuration for port 2. Again, select none for layer 3 and layer 4. And now we are be ready to begin uh, configuring the RFC 2544 test parameters. Double click global configuration. Here we elect to run all of the tests outlined in RFC 2544. We will choose seven different frame sizes outlined here. The test will be run from port 1 to port 2. However, you may also run the test from port 2 to port 1 or bidirectional. Double click on each of the throughput, latency, frame loss, and back to back menu items to configure the parameters for each test. Once ready, simply click Start to begin the RFC 2544 test. Once the test is running, double click Results to get a live uh, statistics on the test. So we see here that the test is running. The specific test that is being run is a throughput test. It's sending test frames at a frame size of 64 bytes and it is sending it at 100% of the line rate. Here we see the transmitted frames and the received frames. Okay, so now we see that the throughput test is completed. So let's click on the drop down menu for view and click graph to see the results of the throughput test. The x-axis is frame size and the y-axis is throughput measured in megabits per second. So you see that the throughput increases as the frame size increases which makes sense since uh, your each frame has more data and you see that for high frame sizes we are almost at the one gigabit per second uh, throughput if we go back to the view drop down and click statistics we can get the raw data listed here for each 
frame size. Okay, so if we go back to the status tab, we see that now the latency test has also been completed. So let's go back to the view drop down, select graph, and now click the latency tab. Okay, so on the y axis we have latency measured in microseconds, and on the x axis is frame size again measured in bytes. So we see that uh, the latency actually does depend on the frame size a little bit. Uh, we're getting anywhere from 46 microseconds latency all the way to 58 microseconds. Okay, so again, we, if we go back to the view drop down and hit statistics, we see the raw numbers for the latency test. Okay, so the test is complete. We see here under status the test is done. So let's now take a look at the frame loss statistics. So in the frame loss tab, we see the various frame sizes under test. And for each frame size, we send frames at 100% of the line rate all the way down to 10% of the line rate. And the important statistic that jumps out here is that the second number is all zeros. That means that regardless of the line rate that we choose, we see no frame loss. This is a good thing. This means that the switch is able to process frames at the line rate without dropping any frames regardless of the frame size. Um, if we go to the graph, you see that <laughs> uh, it's pretty uneventful. Be all of the lines actually overlap because we didn't see any frame loss. Okay, so the last test is back-to-back -back frames. So let's take a look at the graph. Again, we have frame size plotted on the x-axis. And a burst is basically when you send frames out onto the wire with minimum interframe gap. And the pur purpose of this test here is to see how many frames you can send in a burst before a frame is lost. So, for instance, for 64 byte frames, we can send approximately 90 million frames out onto the wire in a burst before a frame is lost. Now, of course, for larger frame sizes, you're going to send less frames in a burst. So here we see that you send approximately 5 million frames out onto the wire with minimum interframe gap before a frame is lost. Uh, as usual, you can go to the statistics table to get the raw numbers. So this concludes the RFC 2544 test.